This is Crenshaw, Briggs, and VT. We want the touchdown. We not trying to go for three. And it's best if you get up out the street because them bulls out the pen and they about to stampede. It was a, a ESPN article by this very man on this podcast right now. Me? And you, oh, and my on, goodness. What? <laughs> and in that no, article... <laughs> and that article um, claimed that um, the coaching candidates were told that the team planned on using a second overall pick on the quarterback. Now, we got people on Twitter saying this cap. Some people on Twitter saying, interesting. So, Mr. DJ, out of your mouth, tell us a little bit more about that. Elaborate on that for us. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I mean, that's just what, kind of what I was told um, by people, you know, people that had got interviewed by the Texans. So, like... <laughs> Like, like that, that, that's kind of, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of case and closed. But in reality, like, there's no way you could have watched the Texans last year and been like, oh, no, nah, we, we're kind of good at quarterback or we can <laughs> run it back with Davis Mills. Like, Davis Mills led the league in picks in the fourth quarter, and he was tied for the, he, had, he, he was tied for the most picks in the league, and he threw most of them in the fourth quarter, the most important quarter. So, like, we all watched, you know, all the Texans games, and we all know that if you had these – Above average quarterback, they're probably not picking in the top five because how many games, again, came down to the fourth quarter and you just kind of need your quarterback to make a play, right? You got the Col- the first Colts game that you're up by 20, well, you're up by 17, and, you know, your offense goes limp in the fourth. You got the Bears game where your quarterback throws a pick on the last drive, which kind of gives the Bear- gives the Bears a win. You got um, the Chiefs game, you get, you get an overtime, and you get a stop, and then your quarterback gets the ball, he fumbles. And the you know what I'm that's three games right there. You know, we, we, we could be talking about 10, we could be talking about 10 and 11, where he's like, maybe we do keep Davis, you know? I mean, you know, we can talk about, there's a bunch of other games, you know what I'm saying, where he just didn't play up to the level that you would want to have confidence that, okay, going to year three, he's going to be able to take that next leap like a Jalen Hurts did, similar to what Tua did until he got hurt, similar to what Josh Allen was able to do. Now, you know, that that's kind of how I look at it, but Obviously, you know, he didn't give you that, at least some of those signs. So it's kind of common sense, you know. Beyond the fact being told, that's kind of common sense. Like, they got to take a quarterback, you know. Like, like now, if it was, like, last year's class where there was no quarterback outside of Kenny Pickett who went in the later first, you know, later half of the first round, then I could understand passing on one. But, you know, at the end of the day, like, right, you – you, you got him. You got to make a move. You know what I'm saying? So This is Crenshaw, Briggs, and VT. We want the touchdown. We not trying to go for three. And it's best if you get up out the street because them bulls out the pen and they about to stampede.